Well, hello, brothers and sisters. We continue to bounce around those two favorite books, Proverbs and Psalms. And now we're bouncing right back to the Proverbs. And this one's a popular among many uh, modern churches right now, especially around certain uh, up-and-coming teachers. They love this very notion. Here it is, where there's no vision, the people perish. But then it says, you need a God dream. You need God to put something in there and live it out or you will perish. Is that really what the verse is saying? Of course, the quick answer is no, it's not. Here's the problem. We don't even look, need to look at the context. We need to look at the verse itself. First things first, let's finish the verse. Yeah, that's the problem. They don't finish the verse. Here's how it ends. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. So it's it's, it's about law keeping. Interesting. Now it's it's clear. This proverb is like all the rest. It's what they're, they're using what's called Jewish parallelism. Or if you want... the. The first idea is repeated in the next phrase, but in different ways. I'm saying this, and I'm re-saying that, but it's the same thing. So the first part is supposed to be explained by the second part, because the second part is saying the same thing as the first part. Hope you got it by now. But let's just look at this very verse in other translations, which they never will look at. New International Version. Not necessarily very popular among certain more conservative Christians, but let's see what it says. Where there is no revelation, people cast off restraints. Hmm. But blessed is the one who heeds wisdom, uh, wisdom's instructions. Do living translations. When people do not accept divine guidance, they run wild. But whoever obeys the law is joyful. Interesting. English Standard Version. A good solid translation where there is no prophetic vision the people cast off restraints but blessed is he who keeps the law so let's put it all this together okay if it all ends with this idea of wisdom's instruction or the law obeying the law the torah then that means this idea of prophetic vision dream revelation must be god's revealed will because law is God's revealed will. It's it's the same thing. So this is about the fact that when people don't take into consideration what he has taught, then there is abandonment. But what will help us is if we go back under that restraint of the law in the sense of God's commandments. For us, we would say the law of Christ, if you prefer the law of love. But it's still the same thing when we're not under what God has taught there is abandonment. And in that sense, there is perishing for sure. Which is why all these teachers, whoever they may be, that love to talk about these God dreams are actually contradicting the very verse they're using. Because that very verse is saying, when well, you're not being faithful to what God has taught and instead going to new stuff, special stuff God gives you, you will go without constraint, without you will perish basically. They're leading people to perishing. That's exactly what the verse is saying against them. So be careful. This idea of a God dream, this notion that God puts stuff in your heart and you must do. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm saying this isn't the verse that tells us about it. On the contrary, this verse reminds us that first and foremost, God has given us what we need. It's called the word. This is why I'm doing these things to bring us back to the word. God has revealed himself. God has given us stuff. Even if you would prefer the Holy Spirit Right? The one who was inspiring us and guiding us, first and foremost, inspired the Bible. He spoke to us through this word, first and foremost. And when we break it off, look away, trying to find our own special God dreams, we will be perishing. Brothers and sisters, be careful. Don't think this is an attack against you trying to follow special calling. This is a reminder, don't lose yourself. Come back to what God has given us and live in that. And be sure that in that, God will bless. With this said, brothers and sisters, I love you. Be blessed.